No, I was just getting my health restored. I, I, I didn't relapse into my bean collecting. Okay, may, maybe just one more for the road. Just one more. Oh, it's it's a bean. Yeah, come on, come on, dudes. Like, if, if we get 200 beans, you know what we can buy with these beans? We can buy cards. Like, like baseball cards, but they're for wizards. So, I want to, I want to, I want to tell you something. So, you, you know about these, like, weird eyeball looking things? Uh, and, and you know how, like, when you, when you put a very bright light on them, it blinds them, then why don't we just do this? Why don't we just, like, get Ron, point the wand at the eye, and then light it? I mean, and then we can just unlock a lot of things quicker that way. I don't know why we have to do all these convoluted puzzles. Instead, we have to use these crystal balls. Because we're just a bunch of, like, third-year idiots who don't know any better. Oh, wait, I have Reparo now, so I can actually do something here. Wait, what? No, no, I, I, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to progress with the story. Why, why are you doing this to me? I didn't mean to press the, the, the button. I, I meant to cancel out of that. Wait, 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 where are you going? What, what, what are you doing? Stairs must be malfunctioning. She just, she just really likes being ambushed. <laughs> wow! Totally caught me off guard! Yes, it is. It's very fair. I'm currently dealing with a giant hunk of ice. She's like totally agreeing, but she's ignoring Ron and Harry's pleading. You know, I'm just suddenly in the mood for a club sandwich with pickles. Sold. Can't believe somebody broke the toilet. Yeah. And I can't believe there's a rare $10,000 collectible in here. Just won't let me get out of the way. Why is he just like standing there? Did, did, did the developers really think that far ahead? They, like they're just trying to trap me in here? Everybody move! Seriously, man, I, I was trying to get the thing in, in, into the bowl here, and you just decided to get in my way. That's, like, so uncalled for. I, I, I can't believe the fire just straight up killed me. I can't believe I just straight up killed the fire like that. I mean, man, I'm cold. I'm all out of jokes. Glamour Pikes! No, I gotta do it with a voice tuner. Glamour Pikes! You thought this, uh, thing right here could get in my way? Nothing can. Okay, now I'm in the mood for a, a buffalo chicken sandwich. Why, why does this keep happening? Why is it that whenever I'm streaming, I, I just start thinking about food? I'm not Nikocado Avocado. Like this, this isn't a mukbanging channel. It's 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 a gaming channel. <laughs> I sh I shouldn't even allude to the concept of food. Either that, or I've been cutting back on way too many calories, and I have the urge to feed. Hey, you know the rules. Get out. And so do I. We should be going back to the grand staircase. I play flesh. What? Did they get caught? Well, maybe I shouldn't have, like, called out for their names. Otherwise, the game wouldn't have crashed again. I solemnly swear that I am up to no... I solemnly swear that you shut the fuck up. This game is more problematic than the tweets I post. What I want you to do is to go in there and bring back the spellbook containing the Patronus charm. Yeah, but the door immediately closed. Good luck. <laughs> he just phased through it. You know what I don't understand? When playing the game, you're just, yeah, you're going through a dungeon, but in the books, 
and in the movie, I'm pretty sure all Harry had to do was just confront this, like, this thing that came out of a box. I don't see what this has to do with confronting my fears of the Dementors. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. Now the Dementors are showing up. I have an idea. I'll, I'll just hide away from the Dementor right here. He won't even know I'm here. Why did I get back up? Okay, I just went back down and he's leaving. He's actually going away. Like, he doesn't know where I am. Like, he's I, I, like he's completely lost. Up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh, you almost got me. You almost got me. You thought you saw somebody, but you didn't. It, it was just all your imagination. Yeah, you know what? Come and get me. Come and get me. Hit me. Come on. Do it. Hit me. You can't hurt me. You, you, you can't do it as long as I just keep running around. around. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that doesn't... What's absolutely insane is that I only have one, like, thing of potion. So that's, that's actually going to make the stakes more, like, actual stakes. Don't be stupid. Don't be... Wait, wait a second. I'm immune. As long as I hold on to the cube of friendship, I can't be hurt. Nope, nope, he, he literally can't do a thing. He's just waiting for me to let go. One more to go. I'm gonna take a quick swig for me and the boys. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Now, you know what would really up the ante? If there were two Dementors. Suck. Oh, God. Your HP depletes whenever you're close to that thing. You know what, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save my game, like, on the second slot this time. My fear is palpable. Oh, amazing! Now things are getting much worse. The platforms are starting to collapse. And then the next thing you'll tell me is that the, the game is gonna freeze. Well, joke's on them. I have a backup plan in case that actually does happen. It's called uninstalling the game. My guard is totally down in this moment of victory. Oh, what's this? What's this? Your biggest fear, a little ball of light. I think we can get our hands on some fairy wings and hogsmeade. Hogsmeade? But how are we going to get there before the next potions class? The answer is simple. We don't go to potions class. Wait a second, there's a there's a secret book over there. How do I get, how do I get to the book? I mean, it, it would just be pretty easy. Wait, I'm a, like, that's actually something you're supposed to do? I can light things on fire. No way, I can't. I, I have to get the statue here to light things on fire for me on my behalf, which is kind of a letdown. Well, well, uh, th th that's like probably going to take some time, though took like a solid hour it's just excellent that that the fireball that she emits goes really really slow I have a plan in, 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 in case we get caught by a guard here we are this is my proposal we light them on fire I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right here and I'm gonna hope I don't get caught I'm gonna I'm gonna do that thing where he doesn't notice me good he didn't notice me all he needed to do was just look a little to his left and, and he would have caught me but, but luckily, people in this game are actually stupid. The people who go to Hogwarts are actual, like, idiots. Because they're not getting a proper education. They're not being taught, like, like math and social studies. No, they're, they're just being taught how to cast silly little spells. Imagine trying to go to, like, college, like, like Harvard or something. Excuse me, you said you went to Hogwarts? Yeah, and they, they, they taught me how to do magic spells and stuff. Okay, but, uh... I heard you were a straight-A student. Yeah, yeah, because I'm really good at casting spells. I'm also very maladjusted. Wait a minute, is this the Shrieking Shack? Why are we here at, at this point in the game? Like, isn't this supposed to be for a final level? Why do I feel like we, we just skipped through a solid third of the movie? Like, we're gonna go into the shack and then uh, Sirius Black will be there. Oh yeah, Potter, I like the way you make those noises. I would expect a Patronus you in the face, even though that does absolutely nothing. The Dementors will be patrolling Hogsmeade soon, and it's not safe to hang around the Shrieking Shack. 
And it turns out there are no Dementors at all. No, no, I can, I can guarantee you. Like, we're gonna collect the fairies, and then we're gonna get ambushed by the Dementors. Like, I... My money's on the table. I, I think that's exactly where they're gonna take this. <laughs> you just, uh... Having a little fun over there, Ron? Okay, so, uh, now Harry's just deciding to bounce around, too. Oh, no! No, I switched to Hermione and she's bouncing uncontrollably, too! This game is destroying my mind. You can't burn down the bushes. That just... just, just that just doesn't make any sense. Wait, do, do I have to, like, make the dragon statues do it for me on my behalf and... Uh, I, I, re I really hate that. I really hate how you have to, like... And it doesn't even work with the statues. Oh, wait, because they're broken, right? I'm, I'm just being dumb. We could literally just skip a step by just... By, by doing that! So, right, let's murder the innocent fairies that live here and take their wings. I have a plan. I'm, I'm gonna blind the fairies with a radiating light. Okay, fine. Be that way. I quit. I'm dropping out of Hogwarts tonight. Is it working? I, I don't know if it is. Okay, I, I somehow managed to kill one and take their stuff. I don't know how I did it. I, I just pressed buttons randomly and changed spells randomly until something worked. Alright, I just kidnapped two of your own kin. We're leaving. We literally just, like, found a bunch of fairies, terrorized them, and abducted three of their people. Wait, how did, how did you get in front of me? Get out of here. Out of this house. I think I just killed one of them. Aha! I knew you were going to try to flank me. Keep them away, Harry Potter! Our lives are in terrible danger! I don't think Ron or Hermione are in any serious danger. I think the only one who is, is, is me. <laughs> Great, now we're actually just snow sledding right now. I thought there was gonna be like this whole sequence where we, we were just gonna like, shred down the hill. I have a plan and it's rather simple. We're, we're, we're gonna make Ron a sacrifice. Uh, Ron's gonna get caught. He's gonna get in trouble, and while while everyone else is distracted, we will simply slip on by. It's gonna require you to jump off of that ledge, Ron. What is Snape doing? He he's just he, like for, for a brief moment he was giving this uh, armadillo statue, though it's a squirrel statue. He was giving it a staring contest. I have an idea. I'm just gonna like book it. Is is it gonna work? It should work. It, it worked. It, it actually worked. Ha 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 ha! Of course! You alright, Snape? Uh, you, uh, cough up an acorn? No, he, he, he was just, like, vaping in the halls at night. <laughs> like, he just starts, like, gagging when he, when he sees Ron's like, Ron! <laughs> he, he, he doesn't even scold you, he just, like, coughs heavily like to the point where he might need to see like medical attention Ronald Weasley <laughs> you didn't juju on that beat they're just straight up trolls exploring the corridors why troll in the library it wants to read a book as a speciesist, I am quite frankly disgusted. Now, how do you counteract a troll? The answer is simple. You ignore them. I'll just walk around and like... Wait, 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 why do they sound like a bear? What if I have to throw shit at it in order to counteract the troll? I think I think I might have to. I mean, there's nothing in the rule book saying that I, I can't throw shit at trolls. Oh yeah, see even the game is encouraging me. Oh, just please let me in. Neville. How did Neville get past the trolls? Okay, Ron, you've made your point. 
Wait, what, what is Hermione doing in the boys' common room? Ew! Girl in the boys' common room! She has cooties! <laughs> also, I just wanted to mention that there is an actual wanted fugitive, like, patrolling the halls, uh, looking for me, specifically, Harry Potter. Yeah, and, and he was in my bedroom yesterday, rummaging through my stuff. Last place I would ever want to be is the Gryffindor common room. I, I don't want to come back in here. Also, you're, uh, you're Slytherin. This is, this is the Gryffindor. <laughs> this, this is supposed to be for Gryffindor. You're not supposed to be out here. You're supposed to be where the Slytherin people are. I don't make the rules. I wouldn't personally segregate you for being a Slytherin, but JK Rowling would. He kicks my freaking spells away. Oh, and Hermione just died from the poison. Yeah, she is dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna admit it here and now, viewers. It's kind of important that I do, but, uh... I, I think it's gonna be a bit of a controversial statement, but I, I, I like the other two games a lot better than this one. I don't know about you, but I'm really hot in these robes. Yeah, we know you're a sex god. We, we fully understand it, Mr. Weasley. Why are there massive dragonflies out here? It's it's just so freaking weird and terrifying. What did somebody in Hogwarts decide? Hey, let's uh, let's play some Jumanji, but not like the silly board game, like the one from the actual movie. And this is the end result of that. Luckily, they have absolutely no sense of self-preservation, so we'll we'll be able to dispatch them pretty quickly. I mean, little bunny wants to come down here and we can have a nice conversation about macaroni and cheese or whatever concepts of things you like to discuss about. I don't know. I, I have no social skills. Okay, get, get the fuck down here! This one does have self-preservation. But I still killed them. Yoink. What happens if I tried to bow to Buckbeak's ass? The logical outcome. No, get him yourself. All right, now we're suddenly playing a mini game, and the mini game is 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 basically you just snatch three random things out of the water, and uh, you know you don't really have to put much effort into anything. Like like they just started flying, and I had already captured like two thirds of what I need to capture. It wasn't even a mini game. It it was just like I pressed the button, and then I I got confused because I had already done the mission. Ron, we, we cannot escape our fate. We are destined to be trapped here forever. For all remaining days. Actually, actually no, you don't screw that. <laughs> Just that kid on the, on the right side of the screen. Hilbo judges in silence. It was Hilbo this entire time. He was the one responsible for the random, like, freezing of my game. I, I can guarantee you this. I don't have any proof. But I, I think it was definitely him. Shut up! I'm coming to a major discovery. Sorry, Ron. I've got to go to the Quidditch Stadium. Yeah, we're just introducing a new gameplay mechanic at least two thirds of the way in. It's <laughs> <Draco>. <laughs> just a random kid just standing around. Another one. Hilbo takes many forms. He just dyed his hair and changed his clothes. What if it turns out that every student in this building is Hilbo? Oh no. That just makes it worse. Like, like, every NPC Look, is Hilbo. Yeah. It probably explains why there aren't any NPCs outside. It's cause Hilbo has the flu and he has to stay inside until he heals. Come. Nah, man, Hilbo can't get sick. He's in a- he, he's reached apotheosis, it's impossible. Look, only Hilbo knows why Hilbo does these things. You know what I'm suddenly in the mood for? An egg and cheese sandwich with a sausage patty and ketchup. I mean, Christ, like, the taste is so vivid in my mouth. We just have the sweet, savory ketchup lathering the sausage and the eggs. The sausage is like, it's, it's, it's like, it's got a sweetness to it, but it also has some heat. We literally just skipped over all of the Quidditch stuff. Like we didn't even we didn't even do anything like Quidditch related. The only Quidditch stuff was just in the cutscenes. You 
And, and the narrator is just telling us, Oh yeah, Harry Potter won the Quidditch World Tournament! I think he's gonna be executed at sunset. I couldn't help him. Oh, Hagrid. What can we do? You sound so sarcastic. Now, this is definitely the end of the game. Because I remember in the movie, like, like, the way they started off Act 3 was they go to visit Hagrid, they learn that Buckbeak's gonna get killed, a pumpkin gets decapitated instead of Buckbeak. Oh, I remember! This was when Hilda reached apotheosis! Ha! You just got pranked! I just realized that they actually skipped over the crucial plot point of Harry learning that Sirius was his godfather. So, in, in this timeline, we have goblins, pirate goblins, with shields, if I might add, but the continuity is, like, way looser. I like how he got, like, bit by a wolf, and he, he just, like, let out a casual, ow! We also skipped the whole thing with the Whomping Willow. Okay, now this was actually in the movie. Like, I explicitly remember hearing this. Warner Brothers' lawyer is literally outside of my door right now. He, like, I see him in the security cameras. He is about to knock on the door. I'd answer the door, but I'm currently going through an enemy gauntlet right now. We'll, we'll have to chat later. Look, Mr. Lawyer, I, I I know you got the whole cease and desist letter, but I'm really busy right now playing one of your shitty games. The truth is, I don't think this game is really that shitty, but it, it, it does have a lot of jank that kind of kills the fun a little bit in some places. Hermione just strutting like a queen. Now I'm gonna have to heal Harry. Oh my god, Harry! 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 Hey! <laughs> Harry, uh, Harry, you got you got to try this, Harry. Harry, I I think I drank too much. It's gonna be amazing the fact that I have to do all of this a second time because I have to go back in time to rescue Sirius Black. There's not even gonna be any changes to it. It's just gonna be the exact same level. Harry discovered that the black dog was in fact Sirius Black. What do you think the opposite of Sirius Black would be? Oh, <laughs> funny white. As they marched Pettigrew to Hogwarts, the full moon rose, and Professor Lupin. A lot of this stuff is just happening way too quickly for me to like really process. Sirius Black just transformed into his persona. He's fighting Lupin's persona. The personas are brawling. And, and Pettigrew is about to transform into his! <laughs> Hermione's just running away from the Dementors. She's just getting real tired of this shit. Hermione has had absolutely enough of this stupidity. I'm, I'm just getting absolutely sick of this shit. Why does Pettigrew look like Trump? Like, in, in this he looks like- he actually looks like Donald Trump. I will let you know that I will be the greatest president of the wizarding world. Okay, Sirius, you, you, you have been drinking and watching too much furry porn. We gotta get you back to the apartment. Oh, hey, look, it's the squad. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was very definitely you from an alternate timeline. Wait, 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 what's going on? Guys! Guys! One at a time! So, we just went back in time, and we're literally just skipping up to the point where we're just blowing smoke on all them Dementors. The smoke of positivity. Honey, I already saw myself. So, we had no fight against the werewolf. We didn't even do a sequence for Buckbeak, we're just skipping right up to this point. I have to say, it's kind of anticlimactic. Well, uh... I think uh, I might have just caused a time paradox to happen. I just took you out. 
How does that make you feel? I went back in time so that I could kick specifically your ass. You went down. What are you doing? Get power. I'm working on it! Can't you see I'm trying to win the trust of Buckbeak? Wait, what one second, one second. Trying to trying to land this boy. That, that, that was just like so fast. Like, Sirius didn't even have any time to get his bearings. Also, how am I gonna get down from here? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get caught by the Dementors and then they're just gonna suck up my soul. You, you can't just leave me here. I, I, you could have at least like brought me back down first. He's still there. Can't believe this is finally it. We we can finally wrap up the game and then we're gonna get the bad ending because we didn't do all the things in Hogwarts and we didn't max out our school points. And and Gryffindor won, of course. It, it was gonna win by default no matter what. I saw the subtitles scrolling up before he said anything. The game just abruptly ends. No credits or anything. What? <laughs> Hooray! Gryffindor won the House Cup! Oh, back to the menu. As if none of it mattered. You know what? I think I'm just gonna end this playthrough extremely abruptly.